Unlocking the mystery of, I'm bored, in English. Hello, wonderful learners. Today we're going to dive into a phrase that's short, common, but packed with meaning, I'm bored. Whether you're new to English or polishing your skills, understanding such phrases is key to sounding like a native speaker. So, let's get to the bottom of this seemingly simple statement. When someone says, I'm bored, they are expressing a feeling. Boredom is an emotional state where a person feels uninterested, unengaged, or unsatisfied with an activity or situation. It's that sense of looking for something stimulating but not finding it in your current environment. This phrase is incredibly common and versatile, used by people of all ages and in various situations. The way someone says, I'm bored, can change its meaning slightly. The tone of voice plays a crucial role. For example, a flat, monotonous tone may indicate genuine boredom. A high-pitched, elongated tone, I'm boo red, might suggest the person is seeking attention or wants to be humorous. An irritated tone can imply the person is not just bored, but also annoyed. Listening for these nuances in tone will help you understand the speaker's emotional state and intent more accurately. The phrase can be used in different contexts, which can alter its meaning. Social situations. If someone says, I'm bored, at a party, they may not find the event engaging. At work or school, expressing boredom here might mean the tasks or lessons are not challenging or interesting enough. Online, in digital communication, I'm bored, could be an open invitation to start a conversation or suggest doing something together. Understanding the context can help you respond appropriately, whether that's by offering sympathy, suggesting an activity, or simply acknowledging the feeling. In some cultures, expressing boredom can be seen as a complaint or a sign of laziness. However, in many English-speaking cultures, it's quite normal and acceptable to express this feeling openly. It's important to understand the cultural background of the person you're speaking to, as this can affect how your words are received. When someone says they're bored, you have several ways to respond. Offer a suggestion. Do you want to play a game? Show empathy. Yeah, it can be quite dull sometimes. Ask a question to prompt action. What would you like to do instead? Knowing how to respond not only shows your grasp of the language but also your social awareness and sensitivity. So, next time you hear, I'm bored, or feel the urge to say it yourself, you'll know there's more to this phrase than meets the eye. It's a gateway to understanding deeper feelings and how to connect with others. We hope this exploration has made you a bit more curious and a lot less bored with English. Keep learning and stay engaged. There's so much more to discover. Until next time, happy learning!